Well, tonight there is a sense of closure in the small town of Fairfield. Two teenagers admitted to killing a beloved Spanish teacher over a bad grade. KCCI's Lara Terrell explains what comes next. Lara? Yes, prosecutors recommend a minimum of 30 years in prison for Willard Miller and a minimum of 25 years for Jeremy Goodall. But ultimately, the judge gets to decide how many years they will spend behind bars. Two Fairfield teenagers are headed to prison a year and a half after killing their teacher. Noema Graber's family sat in the front row as Willard Miller and Jeremy Goodall pleaded guilty to first degree murder. After he had struck Noema Graber, um, we then moved her off of the trail um, where I then struck her and she died as a result. Prosecutors say a bad grade was the motive and both teens hit Graber with a baseball bat as she walked in a park. But Miller claims he only acted as the lookout. Did you act as a lookout while uh, Jeremy Goodale struck Noema Graber? Yes. Did you know that Jeremy intended to kill um, Mrs. Graber? Yes. This plea deal means both teens cannot change or appeal their guilty plea. They are also not eligible for bond. Prosecutor Scott Brown tells KCCI that Goodall planned to plead guilty for a while, but Miller's guilty plea came as a surprise just days before his trial was scheduled to start. Miller's attorney says this was a way for him to take responsibility for his actions and start a path toward accountability. It's about time. It's been a couple of years now and it's time for it to get done. People in Fairfield are relieved with the guilty pleas. Now a community that's been in mourning for almost two years can focus on the way Graber lived instead of the way she died. I think that it's our job to carry her light. And Graber's family told me on the phone today that they believe justice is served. They want to thank police and prosecutors for all their tireless work. Miller will be sentenced in July. Goodall will be sentenced in August. Both of their defense attorneys plan to ask for a lesser sentence. The judge has the ultimate say. Stacy.